Okay gang, uh, here you're solving an exponential function and the base of this function is basically hellish. It's very difficult, um, but it still is an exponential function. Uh, the base can be enormous. It, it, it's, uh, so you have this enormous base uh, raised to this exponential function. So if you notice, uh, this is actually a formula I showed you in the lecture. This is um, compound interest. It's compounded yearly at 6.5%. And we're looking for the time. All right, so it's already isolated. You're gonna go right to the ln part. So you're gonna take the ln of both sides or log base 10. Remember, you can use either. I tend to use ln, but for the simple fact that I write one less letter. Uh, so we all sort of have our preferences for sometimes good reasons, sometimes oddball reasons, you know. So you, you know, you do what works for you. So this allows me to bring the exponent down. Okay, and now remember what you're trying to isolate is this T over here. So you have to get rid of everything else. You have to get rid of the 365 and you have to get rid of this big LN over here. So you're dividing off all of this to both sides. Right, so this gets rid of this stuff over here so that you're just left with your T. Okay gang, so this actually right now is the exact answer. I'm gonna now approximate it with your calculator and we do do uh, thing uh, problems this challenging. So let's go ahead. Now there's more than one way to do this. Uh, I'm gonna start by doing it straight up. So here we go. I'm gonna try to stress things that are important. So we're doing ln of four. And I've been stressing to you that you have to, the only thing this ln is eating today is the four. Okay, and so after you put the four in, you have to close it because otherwise it's just gonna keep eating everything after that. It's gonna keep calculating everything after that. It's gonna put it in the function and that's gonna be wrong. All right, so it's ln of four divided by, now the problem here is it's divided by a ton of stuff. So I actually have to put a parenthesis because there's a ton of stuff down here and I have to say that you're dividing by all this bottom. Because if you don't do that, what the problem thinks you're doing, if you don't put a parenthesis around the outside, like this in the calculator, it's going to think that you're dividing by something. Let me just make up something. And then after you're finished dividing, you're adding something afterward, like adding it, not, not continuing to divide by something. So... You have to specify in the big brackets that, okay, buddy, what's coming ahead? This is all the denominator. Okay, that's why I'm putting that parenthesis. All right, so 365, this is now I'm telling you what all the bottom is, times, 365 times ln. Now I have to put a parenthesis, there's a parenthesis for the ln, so that's this parenthesis. Okay, and that's 1 plus 0 0.0. 65, I know you're going to need a Tylenol after this, I totally understand. Uh, 0 0.065 divided by 365. Now keep up this good habit. You have to say, okay, I'm done feeding this LN. I'm done feeding this LN. I'm going to close the LN. That's that parenthesis, me closing the LN. And now I have to close the bottom. I say, okay, this next parenthesis is coming. Is saying, okay, I'm closing the bottom. And then that's it. I've shoved this entire problem into my calculator. I hit equal and I get the magical amount of time. So T, I'm just gonna round this. Oh, the book is making me round to three decimals. It doesn't make sense with time really. Uh, okay, and so I'm gonna round, let me just make sure my brain got that. 
three two. Oh no, I got to round this up. Three three zero. Okay. So um, so this is the final answer, twenty one point three three zero. And hopefully you actually understand what you just found. You found the time for this situation to be true for it to equal to four. How much time it would take uh, in in terms of compound interest. Okay, gang. That's it on this one. Catch you. Bye-bye.